Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Golden Reviewer comparison test. Today we have the Samsung S20 Ultra, both the Snapdragon 888 version on the left and the Exynos 2100 version on the right. Today we are going to do a simple test of a 3D Mark stress test side by side and compare the performance and battery consumption. This is a pure GPU test. So it will stress out the GPU and see how the device handles the thermals and the heat. Both devices are charged to 100%. Uh, their battery temperature are the same as 30 degrees. So basically they are cool. And I put them on this uh, metal plate thing so that they are not in direct contact with the table surface. This is to facilitate the uh, heat dissipation. And by the way, they are both set to uh, Full HD and 60 Hz for better consistency. And also one of my subscribers actually recommend me to run this test with power saving mode on. And he says uh, the power saving mode might actually give a better result. I think this is very interesting. But anyway, let's run without power mode on first. And after that, we'll try with power saving mode on. Okay. So don't go away. Stay with me. Watch until the end. Now let's look at the result of this test without power saving mode. The result might surprise a lot of people, including me, because the Exynos 2100 actually outperforms the Snapdragon 888 in this particular test. We see that their first uh, loop score is uh, about the same, well actually the Snapdragon 888 is slightly higher than the Exynos 2100. However, after 20 minutes of uh, stress test, the Exynos actually can maintain 69% of its highest performance, which means uh, it's uh, 3700 after 20 minutes. While the Snapdragon actually throttle a little bit more, it could maintain only 60% of its highest performance. So after 20 minutes, the performance is only 3400. So the Exynos is actually better. This is really, really surprising. And uh, if we look at the uh, power consumption and the thermals, um, Snapdragon actually use 1% uh, less battery compared to the Exynos 2100. I think this is okay because the Exynos has higher performance. As for temperature, both of them reach uh, 43 degrees, which is um, uh, a very reasonable temperature if you ask me, because um, if you remember the Xiaomi actually reach uh, more than 50 degrees, which is uh, Super, super hot to hold. So 43, I think is uh, okay. Now I'll let the device cool down for a bit. I'll leave them on the table. And uh, after that, let's try again with power saving mode on. Now we've let the devices rest for about 15 minutes. I think their temperature are back to normal now. And I've actually turned down power saving mode on both of them. And let's start the test again. This time, the result is even more interesting. Apparently, power saving mode can improve performance. However, it only applies to the Exynos variant. With power saving mode on, we see the stability improves a lot to 77%.
and the lowest loop score improved from 3700 to 4200. But that only applies to the Exynos variant. On the Snapdragon variant, we see no improvements. Actually, the score is a little bit worse than without power saving mode on. I think there is nothing to blame because this power saving mode is supposed to make the performance a little bit worse to save power, right? And then if we see the power consumption and the temperature, we see some more interesting stuff here. On the left with the Snapdragon, the power saving mode is indeed saving power. So comparing to 8% of battery used in the first run, this time it only used 6% battery. And the temperature rise is also much lower. Just now, if you remember, it reached 43 degrees, but this time it's only 39 degrees. So it saves power and it's cooler at the expense of some performance. But on this Exynos unit on the right, power saving mode is more like a performance mode. We see that the device uses more power. The battery drop is actually 11% this time, comparing to 9% in the first run without power saving mode. And the temperature rise is also much higher. It rose from 30 degrees to 48 degrees. That's 5 degrees higher than our first run. And it's actually 9 degrees higher comparing to the Snapdragon with uh, power saving mode on. But the performance is indeed better, so I don't know if I should complain or be happy with it. Okay, so that's all for today's video content. We do see some very interesting facts. What do you think? Which power saving mode do you prefer? Do you want the real power saving mode or do you want the performance power saving mode? Let me know in the comments and uh, see you next time.